thinking about installing a tablet in your car, but you don't know if it's worth the hassle or not. Well, I've had this in my truck for almost a year now, and I'm gonna let you know some of the things I like, don't like, and basically just give you a general overview of how this has worked out so far. As far as the mount, this is a lot better than the CD mount that I had before. It went right in here, it was cheap, it was super easy, it just tightened right in, but it blocked all my climate control and it was just a huge hassle trying to like reach underneath it to hit stuff. So I went with this. It's just a truck specific mount from Panavise. They make them for all different types of models and it goes in behind this trim piece. I bought two of them and then just threw some magnets on that I bought on Amazon and threw the sticky plates on the back of the tablet. I added these pieces these pieces right here just to make sure that the tablet stays level all the time uh, I was noticing that the tablet would drift down on this side and I would be pushing it up to try to make it level again so that just really holds it in place and it's not like the magnets won't hold the weight of the tablet without those bars it will but if you hit a bump or something, it can start to drift and it's not perfect. These aren't super noticeable and they do a good job. I'm pushing down on it right now. It's not moving at all. So each one of these mounts was $30, which is pretty expensive for what it is, but you get two of them, some $5 magnets from Amazon and some screws and bolts. And if you have a tablet laying around, that's really your only cost. The only thing you're going to have to be careful of is when you look at your vehicle, just sort of see where these are. And most of them have an option to have it on both sides, but make sure that yours does. And then you just buy two of them and make sure that it's a style that has holes in it unless you feel like drilling into it to mount the magnets. But it should be pretty simple to adapt this to basically anything. As far as features of having the tablet itself, the maps feature on this tablet is going to be a better experience than basically any car out there right now. The head units in cars and even a lot of the replacement ones you can buy are just not there as far as speed and ease of use uh, compared to a tablet. So this is gonna give you the best maps experience you can get other than a higher end tablet. One of my personal favorite features is using apps in split screen. So you just open up an app and then you go to all of your active apps, you click and hold on the one that you want to be in split screen. Then you, the driver, you have your navigation up right here and you can pop up any other app that you want on the side. That way the passenger can control the music or whatever other app you really want to have on there. Once you put on your mobile hotspot on your phone, the tablet is connected to the internet and the truck doesn't know that you have a tablet in here, so you can freely use any video streaming app or anything like that. Uh, not that I recommend that you do it while you're driving, but really there is, there's nothing stopping you with this setup. Everything will work. It is not real bad to pull this off just to get to the backup camera, especially with these bars. It just goes right back on. Another small problem I've noticed is, it's probably just user error, but these, just this one plate is starting to come off. This one looks really good, so I'm just gonna have to redo that and hope that it stays stuck well. 